Welcome to Finished Work International Ministries, a ministry that is on the cutting edge, changing lives around the world. As you let God in today and apply the word, expect a divine encounter and supernatural transformation. It is impossible for you to be defeated when you have the revelation of the will of God. It is impossible for situations to subdue you when you walk in understanding of what God is saying to you. Let the finished work of Jesus determine what you pray. When God is your source, you don't look back. You keep looking forward. You keep trusting Him. God, I trust you. Here's Apostle Faith Man Obuena. Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made or rejoice in the glad. Can you see what God is doing? Can you see what God is doing? Most times people can't most people can see what God is doing. All they see is what the enemy have done, what the enemy is doing. But today I want to encourage you to see what God is is doing there is something that God is doing in your life in this season you may not feel it but by faith you can receive it you may not feel it you know for so many people they want to walk by sight we don't walk by sight we walk by faith second Corinthians 5 x 7 for we walk by faith and not by sight what I see should come from what God is saying and this is how you come into victory and you keep experiencing unlimited victory can you see what God is doing you may not be where you wanted to be you may not be where you want to be there is a place you want to be but you may have not been able to get there doesn't mean that you have not made progress there is a progress you have made. Unknown to most people, God is already working things out in their lives, but sometimes they don't see it. All they could see is their need, their problems, their inabilities, but they don't see what God is doing. I want you to know that God is doing something for you. God is already at work in you. He's at work in you. I want to read this scripture in Ephesians, sorry, in Philippians 1 verse 6. Glory be to God. In Philippians 1 verse 6, he said, Being confident of this very thing, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He has started a work in you. God has started something beautiful something great in you you need to see this by faith by faith you see that the goodness of god is working out things for you in your favor by faith you see that by faith you see that if you can see what god is doing it is a proof that unbelief doubt and anxiety will create a distraction in your faith work will create a distraction in your faith work and this is why a lot of people have lost that on what God wants to do in their life what God is doing in their life but because they can't see it they, they, they want to touch it before they can believe it no you don't need the Thomas kind of faith you need the Abraham kind of faith the faith that believes, the faith that moves, the faith that moves in the direction of the will of God. This is the kind of faith you need right now. God is already doing it. You need to use this word as your inspiration. God is already doing it. He's already doing it. He's already fixing things on my behalf. He's working things out for my good. I need to begin to have that picture that God is working it out for me. You need this mentality of knowing that God is already working things out for you. He's already moving on your behalf and this should be your encouragement. This should be your motivation and this should be your thinking that God is already working it out for me. God is ahead of you. 
It doesn't matter what the reports you have heard. It doesn't matter what the situation may be right now. God is working things out for you. Can you believe this? No matter where you are right now. In your finances, in your job, in your career. He's working things out for you. Can you believe this? And look at that scripture in Philippians 1 verse 6. It said, being confident of this very thing. That he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He has started a good work. What he started in you is called a good work. He has started a good work, a work that will profit you, a work that will cause you to flourish. He has started a good work in you, and you need to see this, you need to believe this, you need to stand on this, because he has started a good work in you. Now, the next scripture I want to read to us is in Ephesians 3 verse 20. In Ephesians 3 20 said, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding, God is able to do exceeding. Is a noun gym that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. There is a power that is at work in us. That is the power of God. That is the power of God. The power of God is at work in you. The ability of God is at work in you. And you need to understand this. That the things you have heard and seen that is not consistent with God's word is subject to the word of God. The things you have heard, the things you have seen that is not consistent with the word of God is subject to the word of God. You see, when you have this revelation that the things you have heard, that the things you have seen that is not consistent with the word of God is subject to change. And this is what the Spirit of God will have me say to you. God has gone ahead of you. And all things will be possible. All things will work out for your good because God has gone ahead of you. Can you see possibility? Can you see your dreams coming to pass? Can you see your vision becoming a reality in respect of what is happening right now? Can you see possibility in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the affliction, the opposition? Can you see possibility? God is working things out for you. What do you see? What can you see? What do you believe? All things are possible. It's time. To see what God is doing. It's time to believe in what God has done for you. God has given the victory to you. Can you see the victory? The enemy may tell you that it's not possible. But what the scriptures have read, you can see. He said he has begun a good work in you. He's, he's at work in you. The Ephesians will write said now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above what we ask nor think according to his power that worketh in us. Can you see what God is doing? By faith we see, by faith we declare, by faith we receive, by faith we see what God is doing. By faith, we believe in what God is doing. By faith, we declare what God is doing. By faith, we receive what God is doing. It is by faith. By faith, we see it. By faith, we believe it. By faith, we see it. By faith, we receive it. This is how we're going to have manifestation. You see, what you know, in Ezekiel 37, the bones were dry. And the word of the Lord came to the prophet Ezekiel. He said, can these bones live? When that word came to the prophet Ezekiel, in the natural, he just looked at the whole situation and said, well, that knoweth the Lord. He knew in the natural that there is no possibility for manifestation, but the only way he can have manifestation is by trusting God. He said, God, you alone know this. And the word of the Lord came to him and said, prophesy to these bones. You see, God wants you to understand that you have the ability to speak change to your situation. You have the ability to speak change. You see, you can bring change with what you say. You can establish change with what you say. So it doesn't matter what is happening right now. I can bring change into this situation. I can bring change. It doesn't matter what the reports you had yesterday. What they said yesterday. What they said day before yesterday. What the attorney told you. What your friend said. 
But can you see what God is saying? Can you see what God is doing? Begin to prophesy. Begin to declare what God is doing. And let me say this to you. Through the scripture, you can know what he's doing. I said, through the scripture, you can know what God is doing. The word of God said, I said before you an open door. He has done it. He has done it. He has said before you an open door. By faith, you begin to prophesy. I have open doors everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, I have preferential treatment. Everywhere I go, all things are possible to me. You need to prophesy that. You need to say that with an expectation to have supernatural intervention. With an expectation to have manifestation that will move you in a new direction. Can you see what God is doing? It doesn't matter how you feel right now. Let me say this to you. Excuse your feeling. You just have to excuse your feeling. You just have to step out of that feeling that nothing is working out, nothing is moving right now. No, no, you got to step out of that. You got to walk away from that and begin to see what God is doing. He's doing something concerning your finances. He's doing something concerning your ministry. He's doing something concerning your marriage. Can you see what God is doing? We partner with God when we respond to his word. One of the ways we partner with God in whatever he wants to do in our lives is when we respond to his word. We partner with God when we respond to his word. This is how you partner with God. This is how you bring supernatural transformation into your situation is when you believe the word of God and say, Lord, I believe your word. It doesn't matter what the situation may be in the natural, God's report should be your final authority. It doesn't matter what the situation may be in the natural, God's report should be your final authority. You can't go by sight. You have to trust God and release your faith for greater manifestation. You can't go by sight. A lot of people are missing the will of God because they are going by sight. They are walking by sight. Because when you walk by sight, it is based on what you can touch, what you can feel, and what you can see. But when you walk by faith, it is based on what God has said. This is the difference. When you walk by faith, you're moving in the direction of what God has said. Thank you, image man of God, for coming in. You know, when you walk by faith you, you you just believe what god have said when you walk by faith because faith in god opens door for uncommon help and this is what the spirit of god will have me say to you refuse to allow the things you see to distract you from what god have revealed to you refuse to allow the things you see the things happening around you right now you know someone is saying how do i make progress how do i go forward how do i succeed with my calling how do i succeed with my assignment we succeed by faith it is by faith we succeed it is by faith we win how are we going to succeed it's by faith he said the judge shall live by faith, not by worry, not by anxiety, not by depression. The judge shall live by faith. And that faith in God has the ability to move you in the direction of his will. Can you see what God is doing? Can you see? Be the prophet of your own life and begin to see and declare what God is doing. You are responsible for declaring the things God has revealed to you. You are responsible for declaring the things God has revealed to you. You know, sometimes God will show us pictures of what he wants to do. He will show us pictures. He will show us things that he wants to do. But in the natural, if we don't train ourselves to believe God, if, we don't, if you don't train yourself to believe in what God is saying, you won't be able to come into it. If you don't train yourself to believe in what God is saying, you can't step into it. You step into it when you believe it. And this is where a lot of people are missing it because they are allowing what, ex uh, what people have gone through, people's experience, what others have gone through to, to become what defeats them, what feed them. I, I want the word of God to feed me. I want the Rema word of God to be what becomes my inspiration. I want the Rema word of God to inspire me. I don't want to live by people's experience. The experience may be good for them, but I want God's word to decide what my experience should be. Can you see what God is doing?
Can you see what he's doing in your ministry? Even when it looks like you don't have thousands of people right now, or maybe you're still like 10 in number, maybe like 15 in number, maybe like 20 in number, but can you see increase? Can you see what God is doing? A lot of people can't see. They are limited by their experience. They are limited by their circumstances. They are limited by their situation. But who can see what God is saying? Who can see what God is doing? Who can see what God have done? Can you see what God have done? Can you see what God is doing? Can you see what God is doing for your future, for your destiny, for your purpose? Can you see this? You see, when you see what God is doing, you'll be inspired to go forward. Our inspiration comes from revelation. I said, our inspiration comes from revelation. Our inspiration comes from revelation. So when I receive a revelation of what God is doing, it becomes my motivation for moving in the right direction. It becomes my motivation for moving in the right direction. Can you see what God is doing? Concerning your calling, concerning your gifting, concerning the anointing on your life. You know, sometimes people become depressed. One of the major reasons for depression is when people's hope is under attack. When people's hope, when they begin to lose their hope, that's a major reason why people get depressed. Another reason why people get depressed is unmet need. When their need is not met, they become frustrated. They start losing their mind because their need is not met. Another reason why people become depressed is when they feel, a, when they can't see what God is doing, all they could see is their mistakes, their, 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 their setback, their frustration. That is what opens up for depression. But can you see what God is doing? Can you see what God is doing for you right now? Concerning ministry, concerning business, concerning your job. Can you see a lot of people quit when they are very close to their season? A lot of people walk away from their destiny when they are very close to manifestation because they are not seeing what God is doing. All they can see is the challenges, the problem, the temptation, the crisis, the abuse, the humiliation, the struggle. No, no, no. Stop seeing that. Start seeing victory. Uh, start seeing dominion, start seeing open door, uh, start seeing preferential treatment, start seeing supernatural increase, start seeing the hand of God, start seeing the move of the Holy Ghost, start seeing God opening doors for you. See that, that is what to see right now. Stop seeing those that left your life, those who abandoned you, those who walked away from you, those who rejected you. That is not what to see. What you expect to see is to see what God is doing. Begin to see help. Begin to see opportunity. Begin to see new persons coming into your life. Begin to see preferential treatment. Begin to see supernatural opportunity. You will get into what you're seeing. Your future will be moving in the direction of the things you see. What God said to Jeremiah, what seest thou? That was what God said to Jeremiah, what seest thou? What can you see? What can you see concerning this broken marriage, this broken relationship, this broken vision? Can you see it coming back together? Whatever you see will be deciding the future ahead of you. Whatever you see will be deciding the destiny before you. A lot of people walked away from their calling, from their future because of the opposition they came in. Let me say this to you. Opposition comes in the will of God. And let me say this to you. Make up your mind to fight opposition. They will come. Some people are not those who have not missed the mark before. They are not people who have not made mistakes before. But they are people who refuse to stay where they missed the mark. They, they refuse to stay where they made the mistake. They move on. That's why they are strong people. They are not strong because they have not fallen before. They are not strong because they have not met the position before. No. They are strong because of what they went through and they came out of it. Can you see victory? Can you see dominion? Can you see yourself rising beyond the rejection? When people, let me say this to you. I told people that rejection is a choice. You decide to receive it or you decide to reject it. You can decide to reject the rejection. How do you reject rejection? When you focus on your purpose and believe in the true greatness that is within you, rejection has no impact on your life. Those who don't want you are not connected to you. Stop running around people who are not part of your life. Everybody won't clap for you. 
Everybody will celebrate you. Know your company. The Bible said they went back to their company. Know your company. Jesus was not keeping company with the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the, the scribe. He wasn't keeping company with them. Know your company. A lot of us are always frustrated when we expect so much from this person, from that person. We want them to applaud us. We want them to clap for us. And when they fail to clap for us, we feel frustrated. All oh, we are not accepted. Listen, you have been accepted in Christ Jesus. Stop trying to get the attention of folks who are not ready to work with you stop trying to get attention of people who are not in the same direction with you you can beg to have a better relationship better relationship is either by divine connection or by divine purpose either by divine connection or by divine purpose either god brought you people together or his purpose brought you people together stop begging people to relate with you stop begging for love stop begging people to be part of your life you are wired to create Yet a future. You are blessed to have a destiny. There is greatness right inside of you. There is more to you than those who walk away from you. Who cares? They walk away because they are not part of it. And stop looking for a reason why you will condemn yourself and feel bad and say, oh, this person walked away. Oh, that person walked away. You are not the first person that people walked away from. They walk away from Jesus. They walk away from God. Come on, look at you. They walk away from Jesus. They walk away from God. You are not the first person that people walked away from. They walked away from God. They walked away from Jesus. Jesus preached one time, everyone, almost 80%, 90% of his followers left. And he said to Peter, won't you leave? He said, where do we go from here? Seeing that you have the word of eternal life. I'm here to say to you, don't get distracted by those who walk away from you. Focus on what is available and create the future you have always desired. There is greatness in you. You give expression to that greatness when you believe what God is saying to you, when you believe what God is doing for you, and you will come into this destination that God wants you to come into. I've been in ministry for more than two decades now. I've seen people, all kinds of people. Some people may clap for you right now. Oh, you're a great man of God. Oh, you're a great woman of God. And six months later, they walk away. Yes. I've seen people that say, oh, you changed my life. Three weeks later, they walk away. <laughs> I've seen people that say, oh, you're a great man of God. But five weeks later, they couldn't believe in my ministry anymore. So you shouldn't be basing your faith on people's emotion. People can be emotional. You should be, you should decide your destiny and move in the right direction. And stop waiting for people to feed you emotionally. Get up and pursue your purpose. Do your destiny with passion. Wake up and see the possibility of the greatness in you. And stop hanging around with people who fall to their stand tomorrow. Hang out with people. It goes like you look for your eagles. Eagles don't move with ordinary bears. They know their company. Move, connect with people who are connected to you. Come on. It's time to see your future. It's time to see your greatness. It's time to be who God wants you to be. Stop crying for people who are not crying for you. Stop crying for people who are not connected to your journey. A lot of people are crying for nothing. Wake up and brace up and go forward. You are not the first person that everyone abandoned and they left in this place of frustration. Destiny is calling you. Destiny is calling you. This is all I can do on this broadcast. I have a meeting on the Zoom, a prayer meeting that will be going on the Zoom club meeting in the next three seconds already. On people already they are praying. So I will be joining that broadcast. You can go to Facebook and connect with me on Facebook and uh, it's Faith Man of Weather on Facebook and I pray that the Spirit of God will help you. If you watch this broadcast, I pray that the wisdom of God will come upon you. I pray you continue to flourish in wisdom and understanding. There is greatness in you. Stop looking for attention in the wrong places. There is greatness inside of you. There is more to you than what you don't know about you. Until my next broadcast, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Faith Man Teachings on YouTube. You can subscribe to Faith Man Teachings on YouTube and also, you can watch me every day on finishworktv.com, finishwork TV stream 24 7, helping people around the world. You can partner with this ministry by going to finishworktv.com and slash giving and give us the Spirit of God will lead you. Thank you for being part of this live broadcast, life changing broadcast, and expect more. So, 